Hi everyone, it's Shane with Oddball Cards. Today we are going to be going a little bit off script. I've in some of my previous videos talked about uh, what it is that I'm looking for when I'm collecting, and it's mostly rookies. But I figured I'd break it down a little bit more, and uh, today I'm going to focus on a couple points here. Why do I collect cards? Well, one, it's fun. But two, I'm hoping that when I open something, like this box here of 2019, Topps Gypsy Queen, to have some value to the cards. I'm hoping to get good cards, cards I can trade, cards I can keep for my personal collection, cards I can sell, and some combination of those. But also, I look at the price point. This particular product has been out approximately a year, just under, and the way I know that is because I took a look at the checklist at the Rookies, which is one of my personal collection of the Rookies, and they were almost identical to the top Series 1 Rookies. So I know opening this box, I may not get some of the big four, probably, no, excuse me, any of the big four, according to the checklist. But the other way that I can get some expected value out of this, this is a retail box, or autographs, probably not getting one of those. Uh, and that leads us down to short prints and numbered cards. And uh, you've already probably worked ahead. This is a shout out to a friend of mine, Gourmet Breaks, who loves Gypsy Queen. I am not a huge fan of Gypsy Queen, but I am going to give it a fair shake and I'm going to open a whole retail box. I will cover some of the highlights. I will move a little bit more quickly since these are 2019 cards, but mostly looking for, uh, again, if you're reading ahead, I wanna see if I'm going to get some value from these cards. So they do have some uh, no nameplate cards, short numbered cards in this. I am not a huge fan of the artwork here, but it is really well done. I will give it that. And so, uh, we do have Ronald Acuna Jr., second year card here. Uh, sometimes there are uh, variations, bazooka backs, uh, but in the interest of time, I'm going to keep moving and really just highlight some of the bigger, odder, or valuable hits today. All right, second pack. We've got some big names. I saw one on the back. Oh, I thought that was Chris Sale. That's not a big name. Ken Giles, I believe that's a, oh, excuse me, I thought that was a rookie card. Uh, Clerk, Michael Kopech, there is one of the second tier rookies, and his rookie symbol is kind of faint up here, but it is there, so we'll put that in that pile. And Corey Dickerson, and then a big name, maybe not a lot of value, Cody Bellinger. So, so far, not uh, of all, all the rookies that we could get here. A pretty good name of Michael Kopech, injured all last year. A lot of people project the White Sox to have a good year this year. One of my personal favorites, well, I will put in the pile because he is one of my PC of a Yadier Molina. There's Mike Trout. A lot of people sleeve every Mike Trout. I will do him the courtesy of putting him in there. Uh, Darvish, another rookie card of Justice Sheffield. He's in a lot of products. David Dahl. And Andrelton uh, Simmons. No big variations that I see here. One of the things we are looking for are those short prints, parallels, and oddball cards. Ryan Braun, Brian Anderson, uh, Hap. Here is an insert. Uh, we will put that in the pile because we do count that. It's a Scherzer. That's a nice looking card. Fortune Teller. Trumbo and Smoke. All right. And just checking the back of the cards, make sure there's no bazooka backs. One of the things about a price point is I have to decide is do I think I'm going to have $50 worth of fun out of this? I'm hoping with some combination with the cards, uh, having a friendly debate with my friend. Here's another rookie, but not a big name. And uh, just for the fun of ripping, another personal collection, Jason Hayward. And I won't lie, the artwork is growing on me a little bit here. 
So no big hits, no bazooka backs. I will go back uh, and look more closely if any missing nameplates or anything here. That one looks uh, a little bit different there. So I will put that one in this pile and look at what that is. I did do a little bit of looking at the checklist. That does appear to be a variation, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm a Cubs Dodgers fan, so that's nice that it's a variation in a team that I like. We'll keep ripping here. Been attending second, second year, third year, excuse me. Panic, Blake Snell, Trevor Bauer, other Max Scherzer, Miguel Andujar. So nothing too earth shattering there. Let's keep on checking. All right. So not too bad in uh, just a handful of packs. We do have what appears to be a variation. Some PC cards on that fun tip. And Alex Gordon. Matt Davidson. Jamison Talon, who I've heard is out for the year. Mookie Betts as a, a sock. And a Kristen Stewart. And here's what the back of the, the cards look like here. All right. Nothing too earth shattering there. And like I said, there some of the variations are subtle, and after the video, I will go back and double check. But let's see here. Nola, Manny Machado, Blake Trinan. Another cool insert. I don't know why the inserts are really nice. Tarot, the diamond. And Kyle Seeger. Nothing too earth shattering there either. And just for Chris, I will stack those a little bit more neatly. I want to keep him watching. He's my quality control guy. All right. Well, the fun is there. I do enjoy, especially for uh, the $49.99 was with shipping. That was one of the big draw. Uh, Ah, there's one of Gore's least favorites. I will set that aside and probably sleeve that for him back in the fun factor. And Travis Shaw. So, nothing. All the team logos look fine. Sometimes there's swaps. Uh, I don't have an example of the bazooka back in front of me, but it is literally looks like it's a, a bubblegum advertisement. I had gotten one. Not in a big name. Uh, I forgot actually who it was, but uh, a Met infielder, I believe. Might have even gotten two of those, so there may not be too many different ones. Devers, Swanson, Dijong. This one. Oh, okay. Here we go. I was going to say that one looks a little bit different, and as you can see, it's a no name. So that's pretty cool. Here's the variations we were looking for. May not be valuable. Oh my! So it's Mike Trout. A lot of you are probably like, hey dummy, that's a Mike Trout. Well, I am losing my friendly debate with Gore because this back box is yielding some possibly valuable and entertaining variations. And we are not even halfway through. Wow. I guess if I'm going to get a no-name variation, uh, a Mike Trout is not a bad one to get. I can hear Gore laughing as we speak. Uh, here's another rookie card, Jalen Beers. There's an Oakland A, Davis, Crawford, Stroman, Bowers, and I'm sad to say someone I haven't heard of. So. And just double checking the backs here. Okay. But as I was saying, uh, $49.99 shipped is an interesting personal break. Grill, Jan Gomes, Woodruff. Another insert, Fortune Teller. It's a DeGrom. Pretty cool player, a uh, big name player. Definitely cool looking cards. Uh, and I don't think that one's a variation, although I read something about Indigo being a variation. 
so indigo might be the base color. Maybe that's what I was reading, the fortune teller inserts. So we're starting to check the boxes of short prints, fun, variety, and cheap price point. So Kluber, Azuna, hey, nice Glaber, and is this an actual auto? Am I going to have to eat some words with people? I'm going to... I might be eating all of my words here today in this break. It's a Carson Kelly. Haven't heard of him, but it does hit my other point there of autographs. At least have a chance. And I'll kind of skip a... I'm going to put this Max Kepler aside. I'm hearing a lot about him. So I think it's a second or third year card. But um, one of the things I do focus on are Topps products. Because if you do get an auto, there are some people, and I don't have the list memorized, but on my bucket list are getting an auto of Derek Jeter. Uh, I've seen oh, Andrew Jones of only in... Uh, Excuse me, in one of the higher end breaks recently, I saw high tech. Uh, so I do buy tops because Mike Trout has exclusive autos with tops. Uh, have pulled one Mike Trout auto in my life. Probably will be the only one, but it doesn't hurt to at least give myself a chance every time I'm opening some cards to get something. So I am definitely not accomplishing number three. I want to prove Gore wrong uh, with Gypsy Queen because the artwork is growing on me. Uh, just in this pack, look at the top three here. Uh, good names. Walker Bueller, even though they're not rookie. Buster Posey, uh, Wade Davis, Luis Castillo, Mondesi, Stephen Duggar. Well, that's a rookie card. Pretty cool. Do you like the rookies? So it looks like I'm going to lose number three even halfway through the box, and Gypsy Queen will stay in my collect box. Yolmer Sanchez, Tommy Pham, Alex Bregman, D. Gordon, and a pretty cool insert of Giancarlo Stanton. Probably saying that wrong, not trying to be fancy, just don't know how to pronounce his name. And there's a Kyle Wright rookie. All right. Check the backs. Oh, that's why it looks different. I didn't put that in the right pile. Straighten these up a little bit. We're actually going to move them off screen so I have a little bit more room. And so Chris's OCD is quelled. Now, I am, like I said, disproving my own theory about Gypsy Queen. I would have been happy just with fun. But I am actually getting some decent cards in this. So again, a lot of big names. Uh, don't appear to be many variations here. But after you get the Mike Trout no name, I'm not and an autograph, I'm not certain that you can call this box anything but a roaring success. Well, and we're having fun here, so that's good. All right. The King, King Felix, Syndergaard, Salvador Perez. Just double checking the logos there. Not a rookie card. Tanner Rourke, Zach Wheeler. So I suppose at the end of the day, if I'm having fun, that's most of the battle. What do we have here? Pick up the pace a little bit. Alex Cobb, Patrick Corbin, Jake Cave, Jean Segura, Zahavi Baez, and McCann. All right. So I think I forgot to check the backs of that last batch. I'm hoping to get a bazooka back mostly to show you guys. I am getting my expected value out of this, and I don't uh, just mean I can sell that rookie card. It's probably just worth a couple bucks, but just knowing that I got an autograph out of retail puts me way ahead of at least getting a chance at some uh, valuable cards. Trey Turner is another rookie, Brucky. 
He was in a lot of 19 product. David Peralta, Tyler Skaggs, rest in peace. I have started to PC him. This feels right. And there's another Javi Bias. My friend Barry at Cards for Days is a Javi fan, so I will put that in the keep pile sleeve and probably send that in next time I send it in a gourmet box for auction or gifts to my friends. And next time you see Gory, he will have some bragging rights about Gypsy Queen, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to start with the back because I've been forgetting. Get rid of the retail thing. No bazooka, bazooka backs. Elvis Andrus. Laser Loriano. Did not realize he was on the checklist. That is definitely a rookie card I'm excited to get. Chris Davis. A couple bad years. Kevin Kiermeyer. Josh Rogers. Rookie. Wrong pile. And another rookie. Rowdy Tellez. All right, let's double checking the logos here. Name plates. All right. Let's see, Arena. Austin Meadows, another one of my PC guys, but I'm not going to sleeve it up. A lesser rookie, lesser renowned rookie, excuse me, a Harrison Bader. Hmm, another rookie. And last one's there. All right. Bazooka backs. We're getting down to the bottom here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and indulging me. I like to kind of talk about, eh, it's not a science, but what my thinking is when I'm collecting because I do enjoy giving some cards away, keeping some for the PC. There's Garrett Cole, now a Yankee, and uh, and flipping some. Me, uh, Anthony Rizzo. Oh, that's a cool, cool picture of Justin Turner. And Chernos. I think I'd gotten the no name of his card before. I think I've already looked for Bazooka Backs. There we go. And the last pack. Jose Ramirez, Kyle Freeland, Spangenberg, pretty cool insert, Jesus Aguilar, King of Wands. I'm going to put that here. Skip him. And another one of my favorites, Kenley Jansen. All right. So let's review our list here. Did I get my expected value? Do I have $50 worth of cards here? Not sure. I haven't taken a look at the price of the Mike Trout, but getting an auto in a retail box, I'm going to call a win. The Trout should be sleeved and top loaded immediately, and I shall do that. A couple cards for the PC, a couple cards for friends, and uh, I am going to call it a win. Uh, I maybe couldn't get on eBay and get more than uh, minus the trout card, maybe $20 for some of this, but I do like taking a shot at high value tops cards here. I totally failed at number three of proving Gore wrong, excuse me for bumping the camera here. And even though I thought that the checklist was poor for the rookies, uh, one of my main points, I did get some rookies. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.